my name is Lexia Reklaji, Bishop Kenya Michael Loltome. And uh, I'm speaking today this morning on Sunday, which is of course according to Matthew 20, chapter 28, verse 1, the first day of the week, but Christians have distorted it to be actually a day of worship, which is okay still. But uh, to them, but to God, it is actually Sabbath is the right day, which is uh, found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11, which is Saturday. But nevertheless, we have also to study uh, uh, the Word of God even every day. But the, the day of rest and worship is actually yesterday, Sabbath, which is Saturday, according to the Bible. But the Catholic have uh, distorted this uh, to that day to be actually today. Opposition uh, uh, and also in rebuilding the temple. We are told the word of God, Prophet Nehemiah told Israelites because of St. Balat and also somebody called Tobias, they have been actually so upset when uh, Israelites are. Uh, Slaves came to Jerusalem, back to their homes to repair the temple. But there were some people who have been op opposing it. And that is actually St. Balat and, uh, you know, Governor Tobia. There are two governors who have been actually uh, opposing that kind of building in Jeremiah. <laughs> rebuilding Jerusalem in Jeremiah, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 10. You know... We have leaders from uh, the very so the very beginning, uh, written in the Bible, that uh, the the leaders who are corrupt, they use actually to refuse other people to take their position of authority. Uh, like now our president, you know, is now coming to his senses to sack people who are not good uh, in his administration, and himself also is going to resign very soon because he has now no parliament. The parliament, uh, you know, arm of government was taken on uh, June 25th, Tuesday, 2024. So we don't have a government as I speak now. I am Bishop Kenya Michael Altome, the new president of the United States of Kenya Republic since last month, Tuesday, 25th, for those people who are wise and understanding in Kenya, 2024. So why was Sanballat San and Tobias so upset uh, when the Israelites have been actually rebuilding their temple? It is simply because these people have been having, you know, they are so corrupt, these governors. Eh? The governor called Sanballat and Tobias, they have been actually uh, imposing a lot of taxes to human beings and also tax their money, all their resources in their, you know, jurisdictions uh, to use it for their own families. So we are told when Sanballat heard that we are rebuilding the wall, he became angry and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews. And in the presence of his associates, the army of Samaria, he said, what are those feeble Jews are doing? Will they restore the wall? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they finish in a day? Can they bring the stone back to the life from the heaps of rumble, buried as they are? And then if you read again chapter 3, Tobias also likewise, the Ammonites, was also the same. These governors... They have been actually saying what the Israelites left when they went back to rebuild the Jerusalem temple. They have been actually showing them some something called contemptuous habits. All right. Myself, I don't have a vehicle, I don't have even a bicycle, but the Lord God uh, is actually has enabled me to overthrow root of government using the Bible and the Quran, the Holy Quran. All right. I have uh, I used to study both books and I have a degree on both books. So, uh, I, you have seen it on several occasions. I am a graduate of Capsa Bible College for years. I'm also, you know, a uh, uh, Vision International University Ramona, California graduate. All right, three years, which is an affiliate, uh, ra, ra, affiliate campus here of USA in Kenya, Limuru. And I also have studied Islamic studies, uh, degree levels, uh, you know, at Columbia the Independent Learners. I've also completed three years. I've also taught paramilitary general service unit for 12 years, 2000 and uh, 2002 to of 24, no, 2016, 2004 to 2016, which is equivalent to 12 years. Paramilitary general service unit is an official force 
uh, equivalent to Kenya Army, Kenya Defense Forces, in their capabilities of war and also spiritual warfare, here at Utawala College Training College. As a civilian spiritual affairs instructor, so I told them those kind of theologies, both of them, systematic theology, uh, practical theology, uh, also historical theology and exegetical theology, and Islamic studies, al Khomein theology they call it, and also kind of Islamic theology, uh, to counterfeit all terror, terror group, including Christian terrorists and also Islam and also Islamic terrorists. We have Islam who are very wonderful people believing in the Holy Quran, which is actually one God in Quran 112 chapters, and also this book, Genesis chapter 20, verse 3, one God. But we have also people who are on both sides, the Christians and Muslims, who don't believe the Bible and the Quran. And they're calling themselves Christians and they're terrorists. And also they're calling themselves Muslims and they're not Muslims. We have those kind of human beings. So what I want to say here, I want to say that I'm a Kenya president as I speak now. United States of Kenya Republic president, inter-independent for seven county government or federal states, with their 290 constituencies, parliamentarians, both nominated and also, uh, you know, uh, elected 290, and also 1,450 wards assemblies and elected members of county assembly members, parliaments, and many nominated. All right, and also we have 67 senators, upper house, and also, uh, you know, which is, uh, they have now been banned down on uh, June 25th, Tuesday, 2024, including national government. The arm of government mass has been taken also, so there's no more session there. And so the president, the executive office also, actually was nearly to be also banned down because both parliament have been, houses have been banned, Supreme Court likewise. And, uh, you know, the office of the executive of the governor also, in the executive office of the governor, which is now in that line of the presidency, uh, Governor Sakaja office was also in Nairobi, banned to ashes, and the arm of government was taken. I wrote to the president a long time ago, he's the one, it is said, received. All right, I've uh, actually written to him about peace on 25th July two, 2023. It is here, and uh, I also I've also given uh, His, uh, His Excellency Supreme People's Power President, my Semeji, my in law now, because I'm going to marry a youngest daughter very soon. That is Raila, uh, His Excellency Sir Raila Amolo Odinga. Yeah, I've also given him a copy of this. I've given uh, to his uh, personal assistant to give him. I hope he has given, which is called uh, Mando. All right, I've given them this. Uh, I've given uh, the office of the Supreme People's Power President. I've given him on, uh, I think, on uh, 4th July 2, 20, 2023. And I guess I gave to the President on, 20, on, 20, uh, on 5. It's written. This is the, they have stamped it here, received. So I hope that I was told by the secretariat of the president that uh, in uh, Rabbi Annex house they have received it. The president has received it. It's here, written. So this peace book, uh, I thank God because now it's functioning. The president now is coming to the senses that we need peace. Okay. From actually I wrote to him a long time, but he has delayed. That's why we have lost so many people. Because I wrote to, I have given him this peace book on on fifth uh, July 2023. That is one year ago, and now he has now coming to respond it. Because I am a prophet in nature, and also the uh, the Supreme People's Power President has also agreed. He has uh, he has also they have all come to peace together. This new have initiated that it is here. So as a uh, settlement Bishop of Kenya Republic. This uh, was written June 2023. You can see it here. Facebook. So I thank God because now the president has sacked all these cronies and is also going to resign very soon. So uh, after, but he has, he has delayed there. Eh? If you could have heard me, no one could have died there. Eh? But now as we I speak, uh, the death is still continuing in Kenya. All right. As from June 2050, when the president, uh, you know, uh, government uh, was affected, I was also one of them, obviously, because I'm online, and also the, the youth from all two, two for seven county government, federal states, in the independence, 
and one uh, and uh, 2090 consciences all right and then 1450 words assemblies they have all come to nairobi and uh, that's why the work now they have done they came and awakened the president by burning those places and we thank god because now he's awake eh? but it is too late because we have lost so many people in that day from june 25th eh, i just want the united nation to know that that i'm now the new president we need the presidential the transitional council to come and help us all right uh like america to come and help us it's uh, his excellency dr biden joy biden and also a united nation security council secretary general and other bosses to come to kenya to help us like the way they help they have helped even uh, uh haiti okay his excellencies are uh, dr good uh, torino gutres and also you uh, africa union to come to help us all right for that presidential transitional council to have an interim government to let me now rule this country with my vice president his excellency uh a well-known man and was on ballot paper 207 elections in kenya his excellency brigadier kukubo retired kenya army a very big boss of a specialist in a you know a specialization kind of a, a, a music army band he was in charge of all battalions and now he's retired as ret he's a retired kenya army very polite very good man and my powerful prime minister also of all we in charge of all government businesses and strategies will be first uh, one of the kenya and well known also vice president his excellency uh, also carl lonson sioka is a lawyer all right so he is going to be our prime minister and my wife also first lady who is going to hold the bible is none other than we name garela amolo dinga all right uh, is also now is African member of parliament currently representing Kenya among 12 countries of East Africa. All right, so she is uh, has master's degrees in political science, which is equivalent to almost the way I'm doing it even myself. Uh, you know, humanity, uh, you know, systematic theology and also practical and historical and also exegetical theology. So we are actually dealing with humanity, anthropology studies about human, about God, and also about other non and non living things and living things and also angels good and bad one like uh, Satan. so uh what i want to say here my government i've uh, already told you it is uh, uh i've shown you it is already there all right i've shown you my government is there i don't have to repeat it many times all right it is there it is actually a government that formulated a long time ago uh 2020 uh october even uh the American president, the son of Kenya, is going to rule us after me, according to that plan, and it is coming to be, because I will be just interim president, and then I will live uh, even Peria, probably, Peria to 2027, 20, possibly, all right, uh, here it is, this is the government, although now we have made some changes uh, slightly, even Obama is here, Obama is here, okay, and I'm here. All right, this is the government in place from uh, October 11, 2020. And now it's coming to be uh, ineffective after five years because I'm a prophet. We have uh, my vice president before, uh, Adam Duale now, is going to be ambassador outside. Uh, Uru Kenyatta, we have his wife as a minister of, uh, you know, uh, health. He's also going to be advisor and also he's going to be, we are he's also earning Kenya government money and he's also going to be one of us, helping us also because he is experienced. We have also the fifty president. We have his wife, Honorable Excellency, also uh, first lady. Uh, both first ladies. That is uh, Margaret Kenyatta. is our Minister of uh, Health, and also uh, a member of Parliament. Because my government is like a Moi government. Because I was Pastor Moi advisor. Here, here it is. You can see it here. All right, you can see him with the boat here. Two thousand close to two or two. I was the person in charge. I'm preaching here. So I know the guy was actually President Moi advisor, spiritual affairs and soccer uh, 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 advisor at the Kabartonjo African Union Church, which belonged to the president. He has built it in 1978 uh, to thank God, like uh, King Solomon. The sister of president is here with the blue dress. Is here. You can see it here. I am here myself, and my children are here. Also, also married, and my 
Uh, is the, we have been sponsored. This is now the church members. Kabartoju AC. And uh, the sister of Moi was actually the share lady, the wife of, you know, is a, uh, uh, the late uh, Honorable also uh, James Chelimo. And also Rebecca Chelimo Sote, uh, the, the younger sister of the president. Okay, President Moi, you see him here, she see him here. You can see it here, the young dress. You know, with the uh, blue dress here. And I'm here, myself, and also my children and my another me members. We have been sponsored by the President, the uh, Shia Lady of the Church, African Church, but it belongs to the President. This is not actually, it's just bearing the name African Church, but the President built it, President Moy built it, His Excellency, Dr. Moy, because he knows politics, he's professor of politics, built it with his 40 million Kenya shillings, and the Church is measuring. Because I went there in 1999 to do my practicals and then I went again 2000 to be full time pastor in charge of Kapartonjo for almost now 2002. This church is measuring 200 feet by 60 feet and it's a straw building. You can see it here. This is a media house here. All right. And this was my office. This church was uh, hit by lightning on December. Uh, 17 Sunday uh, 2000 because the priest which I found there which I went to, to replace another members he decided to take all the what the, the president brought like uh, speakers from Philippines Bibles keyboards they say that uh, the thing which belong to the all things belong to yeah, the president belong brought it is they can take it anyhow yeah? so I was actually, I told them to return, but they refused, and the church was hit with the lightning. When just I finished preaching on, uh, on December 17, all right, 2000, and they decided to return all those, those three things. Eh? I was preaching here, you can see me here. Yes, you can see me preaching here. Yeah, you can check, I'm here. All right, this is the church. Okay, and I'm here preaching, eh? Can you see? I hope so. And the church is big, eh? It's one of the biggest church 2000 in the whole Ke the Kenya Republic. 40 million shillings. There's all underground house, eh? houses. And also upper houses. It's a straw building. So what I want to say here, I was the president, uh, you know, advisor, a spiritual affairs, and also I was also paramilitary general service unit uh, instructor, civilian. That's why they... They wanted me to be helping them because I have that experience which God has bestowed me. I'm not actually talking in, in a proper pride. So uh, that is actually how it is. And I thank God because now the president has come to his senses, His Excellency Dr. William Samarito, to remove all the his cabinets and also all those who are in your government to pave way for me for an interim government. I want Kenyan to know that. We don't have now a national parliament. The mass, which is the arm of government, is actually smashed down. We call it mass by the uh, by the youths. We have stormed actually those buildings and burned them to ashes. The national parliament and also our supreme court and also uh, upper house senate and also the house of the governor here in Nairobi. So there is no more sitting for our national government members of parliament, 290 core and also others also who are nominated, which is close to about 400 human beings and about. So uh, what we have experienced, which has prompted the president now to remove his government, to put aside his government, you know, on 25th of June, I want actually uh, uh, His Excellency Sir Vaki, uh, AIU chairman, to know to hear this, and also to help us, and also United Nations Secretary General Sir Doctor also uh, General uh, Tony Antonino uh, Guterres, and also Sir uh, Joy Biden. Dr. Joy Biden, a uh, great nation on earth now, uh, you know, country called USA. They have helped me a lot, more than even Kenyans. And also, I'm living in a British house. I'm talking now in, inside the British house, which was built by Queen Elizabeth II, 1956. I thank also British, because now they have saved so many of us poor people in Nairobi. We are using their houses, including even the office of the president, a, a, you know, state house, was built in 1999 by British. Nice government, obvious. So what we have experienced, which has prompted the president now to step aside also himself, because he's going to resign very soon. On 25th, actually, June, 
when uh, that um, um, actually uh, that kind of a coup took place, a very cool coup, which God oriented one because no blood shed a lot. There was no very few people have lost their lives, the Caravaggio sure life, which we are going to take care of them after my swearing in ceremony. We have actually offenses which are major, we have uh, which are, has happened that day. I want even the United Nations Secretary and uh, Council uh, uh, to know this, and Security Council of uh, UN to know this. There was a murder and uh, an negligent manslaughter that day, which we call offenses, major offenses, which has happened in Kenya again like 2027 and 2008 post-election violence, and even 2012 elections, and even now these elections. All right, what we have now discovered, uh, according to the crime I can report today as a new president of Kenya, which have not, uh, 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 but I'm waiting to be sworn in, after an interim government now instituted very soon, what I have realized in part one, the offenses I have really seen, happening in Kenya under this uh, president which is now ongoing and going, which is now ongoing President William Samuel Ruto there was a murder and a negligent manslaughter that day major crime which you call violent crime there was also forcible rape that day and sodomy there was also robbery uh, uh, with a, which had happened there was also a gravitated kind of assault which was, had happened all over two, for seven county government 290 councils and 1450 world assemblies Okay, which was done by all youth and, and adults against the president rule, which is killing them without denying them all the social services. But to also, there was also what we call property crime on June 25th, 2024. We call it the burglary, breaking or and, and people entering other people building to loot. That was happening. That was all called uh, larceny, theft, which is now also witnessed that day. There was also motor vehicles, theft. And human beings also disappearing. That happened. There was also a song so burning all over the country. That day, on 25th, I want the United Nations Security Council to note this. United uh, Great, uh, Great Nation on Earth, His Excellency Dr. Biden to know this. And also Dr. Vaki, uh, uh, you know, His Excellencies, all of them, to know this. That there are four property crime, and there is also four violent crime I have mentioned. And there are also other part three, or crime I have also jotted down. That was, that mean number one was assault. There are many people assaulted that day. There are also, also forgery and uh, counterfeiting. People who are pretending to be soldiers and they are not are killing others. That's why now we have so many people in mass grave uh, around us here, which people are trying. They are defeated even to exhume them because of the nature of the you know of uh, ongoing now kind of rain again. There was also fraud, we have witnessed that day, embezzlement also of things. There was also stolen property, buying and receiving people possessing different uh, items from others. Number six, five, number six also vandalism, people have been destroying buildings. There was also weapons and carrying possession, people are carrying pangas and also some of them maybe guns. You know, counterfeiting to the soldiers, killing people. And other, there was also a lot of prostitution and commercialization kind of vice. People are being raped there and also sodomized men. Also sex offenses in that day, in that case. There was also drug and abuse violations. There was also gambling in that case. There was also offenses against the family and children that day. All right. And there was also legal laws. People have been drinking alcohol, which are, they don't know. Uh, they are, you know, the kind of a concentration of alcoholic and some of them have died out of it also. Drunkenness also, people are drunk at all over the street that day. There was also disorderly conduct. Of vagrancy and all other offenses, suspicions and curfew and loitering laws and runways. So uh, that is actually uh, we have lo we have so many millions of Kenyans have been affected that day. Drug abuse also was there. So what I want to say, uh, I just want to request the United Nations Security Council, uh, Secretary, Secretary General and other bosses to come and help us to initiate a kind of an interim government to allow me to rule this country for the time being as we look now forward for another, you know, alternative. Eh? But I'm sure I'm going to, for the few months or years, which I'm going to be the president with my vice president, His Excellency Gugubo, Jeremiah from Bungoma, Luya, and I'm a Samburu sub-tribe, my mom. But many of you believe that I'm also an Israelite kind of background, uh, which is okay, uh, okay. And also, we have also my powerful Prime Minister, 
His Excellency also Mukalos uh, Mshoka with his uh, all first lady, uh, second ladies, and I'm also having my first lady. The one is going to hold the paper. I said it. We Honorable Winim Garela Molodinga, the youngest daughter of our, yeah, you know, Supreme People's Power President, Engineer His Excellency Sir Doctor Raila Molodinga, who is now going to be even uh, 54 countries of Africa continent president, representing Africa Union Commission, and including Kenya too. So we are going to rely upon him for his advice also as my in-law. So I'm going to marry that lady very soon. Yeah, everything is okay, but because of the nature of this ongoing kind of, uh, you know, of, uh, nature of politics in Kenya, that's why now, and also she was involved in accident, December uh, 22nd, uh, last month, uh, we need Karela Mori, but now has recovered. You know, I, people have been attacking her because they knew that she will be my first lady and very powerful girl. That's a degree in political science. But I used to protect the family and tell, and now she's also recovering. She has all recovered, obviously. So we are going to marry, I'm going to marry her very soon. Uh, and uh, God has said so. She was the one who is going to hold this Bible, according to me, and according to God. So may God bless human being living in Kenya. I just want to tell the president to hasten, you know, a kind of, a, a, you know, cleaning his house to pay for, for me and also to give me some in handing over not if there is if there isn't then he can go because he's claiming that he not he not he was not given any handing over not by the previous government of retired Kenya president say uh Urumegay Wakamau Kenyata Gigi and that one now is, uh, is also we don't have to I will go I'm going to ask the United Nations and also uh, other nations like the Great Nation of America and also Chinese and all other nations Israel and Britain to help us with grants. Because now our uh, debt has, you know, passed limits. It's like menopause has passed, has passed Kenya economy now has passed menopause kind of period. We want to revive it again using the power of God, uh, grace. And my government is oriented, God-oriented government. So I'm sure now the whole world is going to help me to start a new fresh government. Another thing, I'm going to release all offenders, be it major offenders, offenders even though you are... You have been actually jailed for life uh, and also murder cases and also other main offenses. As I have already stated here, we are going to release everyone, cleaning all, uh, all our cells to pave way for the new fresh government to come in. Because you have seen even this government is so corrupt. They are just jailing people for no reason. I was told by another person, his brother is now and uh, is actually in prison for 11 years. Another one from Machakos, that's seven years, because there was just, a, you know, a jail for no reason, and he was re released recently. Uh, the man just, you know, had a kind of a differences between his own family, his own spouse, and the woman told the girl to, to say that he was raped by his father, and he said so, and the man was actually jailed for 37 years, until now the child, because, you know, he was in an adolescent state, came and told the court I was young, and my mom told me like that, release my father, and he was released. So that's why I'm going to clean up this mess. We are going to release all prisoners, be it major offense, offenders, okay? Even those who have um, murder cases, you know, the, you know, all this kind of uh, capital death penalties. With the presidential kind of masses, I'm going to release them. Even in Jeremiah, uh, you know, uh, Jeremiah, we, we will call the name of God, he will hear us, and he also going to forgive us. But we are also going to execute instance and the of justice to kill people after that now, if you mess up. In Deuteronomy 19, verse 13, and also Prophet Samuel also has killed King of Agai. In 1 Samuel chapter 32 and 33. And also Prophet Elijah also cleared 450 false prophets. In the book of, uh, you know, you know it, the, the whole story. So even the, you know it, the priest, and even Achara kind of false prophet, four of the 400, about 850. And he's just a prophet like me, he's just a priest. Even a priest is just, any priest is just a prophet of God. All right, we are all actually speaking on behalf of God. Okay, there's no person who is little in that case. We are all advocating the word of God. We are priesthood, human beings. That's what the Bible says, all right? We are all priests, those people and prophets in that case. We are speaking on behalf of God, all right? If you are saved, eh? God can give you that inside voice to be his uh, more, you know, uh, ordinate pair 
All right, to speak on behalf. I'm not speaking on behalf of God here. All right, I'm not speaking out of my own words. He's always bestowing me knowledge and wisdom and knowledge and understanding. In Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. So we are going to clean up that mess. We are going to release all prisoners. All of them. All right, the day I'm going to be taking an auto of office. The following day, no prisoners. But now that week, we are going now to uh, admin uh, to start a new fresh of criminals. Be it violent crime or major offenses or minor or property crimes or other petty offenses. We are going to start a fresh one. And we are going to give you exactly what you deserve, what you deserve. If it is a death penalty, instantly. If it is actually other minor offenses, we are going to give you your sentence in jail. Alright? Otherwise, we will not actually keep you criminals to disturb police. Alright? We want to, them also to they have their own families. And we cannot actually keep on having criminals disturbing people. Alright? If there is sin, is lawlessness. In the first John chapter 3, 4. If there is no sin, there would have been no police force. But now, that's why now we have police to deal with the criminals. And we want to give them hard time. We will solve the, the criminal cases instantly. Using the Bible and the Holy Bible. And the Holy Quran. Allah, may God bless you, human being in Kenya and beyond. Remember me and all uh, the Kenya government. And I want the president to clean his house. And to give me handing over note if there is. If no, just leave the office for us to start it. Clean it just so that we will not get a mess inside. Whether he has money or not, because saying he was not given money, he was just given 9 billion shillings. We don't know how far by the first government. No handing over for him. So we don't need even his hand over. Handing over. Let him just go and give us. Leave us in peace. Because we are going to apply Proverbs 29 verse 2 to test God. Alright, God said test.